Hey everyone and welcome back to my train sim. Today we'll be taking this 158 from Selby to York. So we're uh, down here in Selby and taking this 158 all the way up to York. Reach the doors. Master key in. Better to neutral. So the headlights. Switch the destination to York. Eventually. Press the Disney World's hit with Hotburn, Scarborough, Scunthorpe, Selby, Sheffield, Skipton, Southport, Sunderland, Wakefield, Wakefield, Warrington, Whitby, Rare Highway, Wigan, Windermere, York. Da, yeah. Next up is York, arriving at 11.09. What if I have to do with the best iron units? So today we'll be following this train to our 90, 10, 10, Hull to York. So at Hull, Kodak, Brough, Gilbertike, Howden, Selby, and York. Oops. So it's timing at Selby, specifically the speed limit is 20. Excuse my squeaky chair. So, leaving Selby, we'll be going over a few junctions before we get into the East Coast Main Line. So, I don't know if this train was actually at 158, because here it says a sprinter. But, I don't know, I think about Northern is that you can put any train at any service. So you're going to be now 25, or 45. Mm -hmm. Your more favorites do sound really good. So the line now is 60. So when I'm recording this, it's now 2019, it's no longer 2018. So, Happy New Year. I thought I should more excited. So, so far I've got nothing planned big. Nothing big planned for 2019. Except they can videos for you if you may or may not watch them. So I want to leave Selby at 10.53 and get in York at 11.09 because the actual train is a bit late, I don't know why. It's now 10.55 so we should I'll be just past Hamilton North Junction, which is elsewhere. So we got a double flashing yellow. He will be turning right. Well, we got we'll be turning right so we can get into the East Coast Main Line towards York. It looks nice. This one is lagging a bit. I think it's because of tweet with the DVR settings, so it's higher quality, which means it'll lag more.
Also, Christmas just went by, which I had a good Christmas. So really tired about it. <laughs> so the next signal will be diverging right to go towards the signal track towards York. So for Christmas I got the new Mario Pie, Super Mario Pie, and Smash Bros Ultimate, and some deodorant and chocolate. So I got a few good things, mainly to do games. I mean, why does Nintendo always price everything so expensive? I mean, why is Smash Bros sixty quid? Is it true with all the taxes and transport and taxes? And taxes. And stuff like the cartridges. I think they, are they like, are they like expensive to make or something? Now we're on the single track line, so we can start heading off to York, so we can go to 90 miles an hour. So I think for the next commentary video it will be a journey from London Victoria to West Croydon via I think it's Stratham Hill in Crystal Palace. Maybe it's Stratham Common and Selhurst. I can't remember. I don't want them to. Definitely in a 455-A unit, stopping at every single station. So now that we're on the East Coast Main Line, we can now accelerate up to 90 miles an hour, which is the maximum speed of the 158. You mean like, how often do Northern's 158 actually go up to 90? Because I know they're using the Carl Valley a lot, and I don't think they go that quickly. <coughs> Squeaky chair. So we just left that junction, level 5 8. So I think it was Hamilton North Junction, which we went to pass at 10.54, the actual train passed at 11 o'clock. So I think we had nothing around time compared to the Dutch for train. Yep, I'm kind of excited about the Northern Street Trains coming to service, eventually. Because it was meant to be in service in last month, but because it's northern, it's being pushed back to May, I think. Or it's spring. I don't know. I mean, I have seen one, one night five outside New and Heath. I mean, they look nice. Definitely better than Pacers. So we've got 11 miles to go. 
to in this view alone. So the next waypoint is Colton Junction, with the actual train passed at 11.07. So we're due in at 11.11, .11, which is better than the actual train. So now again about 30 FPS. I don't know what it'll take on when you're watching it. I think about the Windows DVR is that it tends to lose quite a lot of frames, so it looks kind of jumpy. We need to tweak the settings again. So when I was setting up the scenario earlier, I found that it's good to put it in notch 4, so it kind of remains at 90, instead of just showing down. Passenger wheel size, isn't this from the original 1 by 8? Which came out in like 2008 or something. So next week is going to be quite a busy week. I've got a lot of coursework to finish. Or start. <laughs> so the first thing I need to do is finish off the assembly language coursework. You know, I would have finished it over the Christmas break, but for some reason my Smips doesn't want to work. So I have to go in on Monday. But when you're watching this, it'll be yesterday. If I finished it. Whatever. Then I'll have to start the CSF course for the math part. That was during on the 25th. Then there's the programming course work. That's due in March. I think I just did it. I've really got an idea. First, what you have to, pretty much what you have to do for the programming course work is you have to make a bunch of objects move towards a certain place. You have to use mouse to click them. I think you have to do a score as well. I think you can get extra marks using enumerated values. I think you could use an enumerated value if you wanted to call sprites in a certain order. You could do that. How do you use enumerated values in processing? I don't know. Because if you use enums in Eclipse, I think it might be similar. This is Colton Junction, where the lines are leads diverges, or Church Fenton on the left. The Colton Junction, the actual train passed at 1107, it's now 1106. So, not long to go to York. When testing the scenario, when I was testing the scenario earlier, it really lagged around York for some reason. Just like before York, I think it's called Holgate. 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 I don't know if other people pronounce it. So my channel will recently just surpass 30 subscribers, which is a lot of people. It's not like a lot, a lot, but 30 people is like a lab full of people. That's a lot of people. And what 
I nearly got to 5,000 total views. You know, I'm definitely impressed with it. So now that we're close to York, this speed will go from 190 to 60. Now we've also got cautionary signals. So let's hold on for the 60 limit. There's also a lot around here. It's a bit weird here. It's really only goes from 100 to 90 to 60. So close to each other. Why are they so close to each other? So I just put some random things in the slidings. I don't know what we got, sir. Going into platform one at York, the speed limit will go down to 15 miles an hour. So you need to slow down in time. Hopefully, the simulator doesn't crash. So, on the left is the National Rail Museum, which I've been to quite a few times, but not recently. So I think somehow it's better than the actual train, but because the actual train probably was probably had a max speed of 25, like a 156 or something, not 158. Hmm. So we're just coming only about two minutes late, which is not bad for various trains. Go outside and change the destination. Like that. Make sure to slow down enough so we don't hit the buffers. Like some people have. arrived at York, this is the final destination, pull the master key out, turn the headlights to the tail light, and that's it. So I hope you liked the video I had for making it, even though it's just sat here just driving the train, whatever. So I'll just 
see you in the next video, which is probably going to be Sea of Skylines.